What's up guys? It's your girl Stacy Cake, your host for What's High, and I'm here with the beautiful Melissa Barrera. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I was tempted when you came on to start singing Vanessa. <laughs> So speaking of In the Heights, my first question was, is there any similarities between filming telenovelas and movies like In the Heights and then jumping into something like Scream 6 and other horror films? Actually, there are a lot of similarities between telenovelas and horror specifically okay. because you have the long like reaction shots. Sometimes you have to like hold a reaction and in telenovelas that's like the long zoom that's coming into you that you have to hold for like 10 seconds that's super awkward at the beginning and then you get used to it and i think because <laughs> i did soaps in mexico for so long it feels so natural to me to do that and in in like the in the scream set people like sometimes the other actors will start laughing in the middle because they they think it's so awkward but i'm like i'm like this is the first thing that i learned to do Right, used to it. Been yeah, there, done so that, used right? to it. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of that, a lot of the cast members, as well as yourself, said how filming Scream Six was uh, intense and frightening, like from an actress's and actor's perspective. So, can you tell me what about this ghost face made filming Scream Six more frightening than the previous film? I mean, I think the writers just made him more ruthless this time and mm -hmm. the fact that it takes place in New York City I think just raises the stakes and all the all the set pieces in this movie and set pieces are like the kills like the se the chase sequences leading up to like a killer and attack just felt more brutal even mm -hmm. on the page I was reading and I was like oh my god this is like next level intense and when we were on set we'd like be shooting a sequence and then they yell cut and we'd all look at each other like breathless, like, oh my God, this is crazy. And we knew while we were shooting it that this was gonna be next level, like just bigger. Nightmares. <laughs> yeah. So your character Sam takes, kind of takes another stab at love in this film with the neighbor, Danny. So, what does this film kind of say about love and what advice would you give your character on the topic? I mean, I think uh, that's a really good question. No one has asked me that question. I've been doing press for four <laughs> or five days and no one has asked me that, so thank you. I think it says a lot about like our need for human connection. Mm -hmm. And even though, even if we pretend that we don't need anyone and like, you know, because it is a thing about like, there is this trope of like women not needing a man or not needing a partner, not needing anything to be successful, which I like support, like women can be independent. But I think like we also have like a deeply ingrained desire to share our lives and our triumphs and our fears and to talk with someone at the end of the day. So. I love that Sam, even though she's very closed off in a lot of ways, gives herself permission to have that human connection. Even if it's like keeping it a secret from the rest of the family, I think it's inevitable. And it just shows how deeply, deeply human and flawed she is. Even though she's like trying to be overly cautious, she can't help it. She needs it. Thank you so much for your time, everybody. This was Melissa Barrera. It was Thank great you, meeting you.